Hello and welcome to videos on fly fishing. Today we're gonna tie this fly. This fly con the materials of this fly is use this kind of hook, the partridge, and I make my homemade eyes like this, orange with the pupil. And then in the body I have this uh, flat braid, pink, and the mouth parts, steel duck feather. I have this kind of thread, it's a uh, fluorescent red, it's almost like a salmon pink color in 8 out. And I use this as the varnish flourishing hardhead and I'm gonna use some uh, salmon pink homemade dubbing from uh, Arctic Fox and also I have some uh, it's not much left but uh, it's some uh, pink CDC feathers from Mark Petit John it's large and nice uh, and I have some uh, for the to make it uh, sink a little better. I have some uh, lead thread at first. Well, that's about all I have in this fly. Um, well, start on with the tying then. With the attaching the hook in the vise, uh, attach some thread. and get on with the lead just attach some lead on the top here just helicopter it just just my wise little bit here some windings just push it down on the other side so it uh, flies goes correctly in the water like that attach it securely and I'm gonna use some I'm gonna use some fluorescing hard head just on the body to attach it this securely this is a new product for me the fluorescent well now I'm gonna take some um, take some um, CDC feather and first I'm gonna put on a teal feather as the mouth parts just remove the stem on the center here. Just snip it off. Like that. Just wind the take the fibers in front. Attach it. Cord up your thread a little bit snip of this excess touch securely now I have folded my feather put it in my petit jean clip and use my scissors a long one to snip off the stem Put that aside and I use my stone for tool. Place it inside here. Put my thumb like that. Just pull it out. 
touch organize it in my fingers and I have this little piece that I place just snip off the stubs place it on top touch it with some securing wraps like that see nice little bundle here Well now I made another loop and I'm going to cut off the stem just adjust it a little bit take off the top end here so it's easier like that and I'm going to open this loop Try to find the where it is open. It has curled up a little bit just to try to make open this loop. There. Take my dubbing spinner. This is the one from OPST. It's very nice. Place it, and I think I can manage without any dubbing wax. I place it in the loop. Just spin the thread, and you see it makes a nice little cord of feather, CDC feather. Now, just take this, and well, I'm gonna be some try to make two things at once now. Just put a half, half hitch, just leave this aside a little bit. So, and uh, I have to cord it up a little bit again. 
and I take the bobbin cradle and put it on there like that so it's away now take a cord it up a little bit again now I'm gonna make a little wind of CDC feathers here like that and wind this a little bit up and around it's a bit fumbly okay now this is attached snip it off take that away the idea of this fly is to make this a little movement it moves in the water it lives in the water the CDC feather is very lively. Snip that off. You can see this shines the pearl, flat braid pearl, pink, pink flat braid, sorry, like that. It shines through. The feathers lives in the water, like that. And this little creature will attach fish. It will fish most securely and as i have started to use this product comes with the brush but that's too big for me and i'm gonna use a botkin and put some on the needle here on the top so i try to reinforce the thread like that well, there you have it, folks. The finished pink CDC shrimp. This is going to be a trout killer. It's going to catch some fish. Most certainly. Okay, that's all I had. I thank you all for watching my video. And uh, I welcome you back to the next. And uh, please subscribe. And I will post some more videos as the time goes by. Okay, thank you all. Take care and tight lines. Mm.